Hey, what's going on? This is Marcos. Today we'll be taking a look at the Yolo Box. This is a portable live stream studio that allows you to stream with multiple cameras. It's very easy to use because you just click on the camera angle and you can switch different angles. So uh, this device can support up to five video sources. And in my experience, I did my first live stream recently. You can check it out right here if you wanna take a look at it. And you know, I thought it worked fine. I didn't have any issues with it. Uh, but in this video, I'm gonna show you, share with you the good and the bad, what I think about it. Also, you know, I'll, I'll share at the end who I think it's for. So without further ado, let's take a look at this thing. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing so you can see what's in the box. You can see the packaging is well done. It's not gonna break on the way. In the box, you're gonna find two HDMI cables, a ball head, a dongle that I'm not sure what it's for, and the USB-C charger, which will charge the device for three hours, or you can just leave it powered on. Uh, it comes with three HDMI inputs, a uh, USB, Ethernet, power, and the uh, USB-C charger up top. I like the build of the device. It's made with high quality plastic. In the bottom, you're gonna see the quarter inch, the SD card, the power button, the line out, and a SIM card. All right, so this is pretty much the setup. You can see this is a yellow box, a good size. It's touch screen. You can touch around, it's easy to navigate. Uh, this is the ethernet cable, provides internet to the live stream. You can also do it via Wi-Fi, but uh, I would highly suggest that you use the Ethernet just because you're gonna get better internet signal. Uh, and this is the power using USB-C, the, the cables included. Um, again, you can quickly charge it and it'll last up to three hours. That's what's on the, on the manual. It says up to three hours without the cable. But I would, again, suggest that you plug it in. You don't wanna run out of power and, you know, cause issues with your live stream. HDMI cable goes to my camera, and then the audio is coming in through the wireless lap system that I have here. You can see this is the Ceramonic UW Mic 9 coming straight to the camera, and so I'll be just talk to this. Um, what else? You can also plug up to five, it's up to five video sources that it can support. Uh, there's another HDMI here that's USB, and what else? There's so anyways, in total, you can do up to five. Uh, I guess that also counts the, uh, you can play videos using the, an SD card down below. Here I've, I've put in my, um, a watermark and I can resize this, make it bigger. Um, so you can do a bunch of PNG photos All right, and also JPEG. You can, you know, bring him in here. You can see that and resize it if you needed to show a photo or something. Um, yeah. All right, let's talk about audio because it's very important here. The best way to get audio is through the camera, uh, meaning the HDMI. I've tried the line out and that hasn't quite worked out for me. So when you set up the cameras, you go to the switch button, you wanna make sure that the audio says HDMI. Um, that's the best way to capture audio. If I had multiple cameras set up, you would see them here. Uh, I don't have multiple cameras to show you, but it, it's work that, you know, I recently sold a couple of my cameras, so I can't show you, but they would all show up here and you just, you just click on the different angles to switch the, the camera. Uh, very easy to live stream with it, I, I've done it. Um, now the quality here to live stream is 1080p, usually defaults to 720, so make sure it's set to 1080p. And then HDMI loop through, I'm not sure what that is, honestly. Uh, when it comes to volume, you want to set the HDMI volume less, keep it less than 100. Otherwise, you get start getting crazy distortion in the audio if you go up above, I would say 150. So I, I usually try to keep this below 100. The lower, the better. And then you would turn up the volume level in your lab system or your camera just to, to keep this number as low as possible, right? Um, what else? And then the settings itself, you can live stream simultaneously to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch right now. Twitter's coming up soon, it says here. Uh, YouTube, has the app has not been verified by Google Play, so right now you have to set up the live stream to YouTube using RTMP. It's a pretty simple process. I'll have some instructions down below or a file so you can uh, find out how you can do RTMP because you're gonna have to do that right now. And that might not be the case in the future when the YouTube app is verified by Google Play. Um, 
Yeah, so pretty straightforward. You can also record straight to the yellow box using an SD card. I would not recommend that because there's a lag in the audio and the video. Uh, so it's not gonna be in sync. Also, the video quality is what's, it's live stream video quality. I would suggest that you record straight to the camera using an SD card, you get better video quality, okay? And that's pretty much it. Once you set up the live stream, you can just hit this red button and you start going live. To stop it, again, you hit stop. You can monitor also your audio levels up here, but also you can, you know, I would suggest that you, if you sound loud enough in your headphones, that's probably the best way to do it. And yeah, that's pretty much the setup. Oh, and before I forget, if you want to set up an XLR mic, uh, you're going to have to get a preamp like this Beach Tech Micro Pro, which can accept an XLR input. Then you would just connect this to your camera and then uh, you have to play with the audio levels here and the Beach Tech to make sure you're not clipping. So that's how you can get also an XLR into your camera. So how most people do live streams right now, they use uh, what's called the Cam Link and then they use OBS Studio. Um, but that takes a bit, quite a bit to set up. Um, with it, you can also do LUTs, which is something that's not really supported right now with the yellow box. You have to set in the, dial in the look on camera. Um, so that's something to look out for. However, with the yellow box, you're able to stream up to five video sources. And that's something you, you probably, you know, it's gonna get quite expensive and complicated if you end up wanting to do something like that with cam links. I'm not sure how it would work. I never tried it myself. Uh, but if you're an organization, a business that's trying to do a quick and easy live stream, then the yellow box is probably the way to go because you can see the whole setup right there on the screen. You can quickly switch between the different angles. Uh, so, you know, I, you know, if you're trying to do something like that, then that's for you. Price is 1100. It's not for everybody, but for you, those of you that are trying to do multiple cameras, then it's probably the way to go. All right. So hopefully this explains everything. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please drop them down below. As always, I, I'll see you in the next video.